Hello dear friends, I'm David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com In this video I want to show you the concepts of limit, derivative and integral. So let's start. A limit is the value that a function or sequence approaches as the input approaches some value. Limits are essential to calculus and mathematical analysis and they are used to define continuity, derivatives and integrals. So limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2, that is 4 minus 6 plus 2, that is 0. Limit as x approaches 0 of sin x over x is equal to 1. Limit of as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is equal to 0. Limit as x approaches to 1 plus of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to plus infinity. And limit as x approaches 1 minus of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to minus infinity. The derivative of a function at a certain point is the rate of change of the function at that point. It can be interpreted as the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at that point, or as the instantaneous rate of change of the function f of x equals c implies f first of x equals 0. So the derivative of a constant is uh, always 0. f of x equals x squared implies f first of x equals 2x. f of x equals sin x implies f first of x equals cosine of x. f of x equals e raised to x implies f first of x equals e raised to x. So the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. f of x equals ln of x implies f first of x equals 1 over x. Integral. The integral of a function is a measure of the area under the curve of that function. It can also be interpreted as the accumulation of quantities. So integral of a dx equals ax plus t. Integral of x squared dx equals 1 over 3 x raised to 3 plus t. Integral of sin x dx equals minus cos x plus t. Integral of e raised to x dx equals e raised to x plus t integral of 1 over x dx equals ln of modulus of x plus c. The relationship between these three concepts is encapsulated in the fundamental theorem of calculus, which states that differentiation and integration are inverse processes. In other words, the derivative of the integral of a function is the original function, and the integral of the derivative of a function is the original function. So for now is everything, thank you for watching, see you later, bye bye!